this object, which is this Elise, work as a time machine, but putting the viewer into the future. On one hand, the Elise, which represents flying and the speed, and on the other hand, the concrete, which represents the strength of modernity to uh, build architecture all around the world. Since the beginning, it was clear for me that the Elika would have been at the entrance because I wanted to map with a very strong image the complexity of memory and, uh, and how much we more and more nowadays are confronted with this complexity. At the same time, your eyes are also caught by the, the right side where on the contrary, uh, accumulated on the shelves, you have an example which refer to, uh, let's say, much more classic times. The idea was really like to involve the viewers as soon as they get in, inside the, the exhibition in a very strong images of a sort of post-end of the world. Most of the time we think that memory is um, the trace of what has been in the past. But actually, there is also a memory of the future. I think the most important to understand is that an exhibition is not only an artwork, and uh, each position of each piece is part of a statement and a project. What I, I found interesting by using prosthetics is the fact that these objects are a cultural invention of repair. And they're not only charged because they have been carried by uh, people who were injured. What they do represent is a form of repair as well. Sitting on a bench, could it be in, inside a space like here, but also outside, is something that I did a lot. Probably I'm also referring to, to the, the public bench and people are sitting like old people or homeless or just dreamer, you know, sitting on bench and, and looking at life going through. I'm very touched by this uh, sort of uh, aesthetic obsession that the mankind culturally has with repair as well by improving the shape and trying to mimic nature. What I'm trying to do in my work is to go back and forth between politics and poetry. The repair is, a, is an endless process of improvement from one thing to another thing. And the notion of repair is something probably that I care the most today, because I think it's everywhere. We are in front of a total uh, paradox. On one hand, as you can see, it is soft like a psychiatric room, except that in the place where it's supposed to be soft, I had it sticks. So we have the incarnation of paradox. But this paradox is definitely what I think an enjailment process is about. People have to, I would say, go inside and just feel this paradox of the repression of power is to make them aware, to open the mind to a critical uh, perception of the world we have built, which is called democracy and modernity. I think modernity has this incredible ability of uh, creating the illusion of comfort and being convinced that they, this is the best uh, way for the mankind, you know, to live together. What we have to do to understand it is actually to unveil the void of illusion that modernity has covered the whole world we are living in, to understand how much things are sometimes paradoxically uh, working.
doesn't mean they're not expressing. They are 100% expressing. I'm 100% expressing when I play two notes. Because what people are not acknowledging is that in between the two notes you have all this extra space. We have to relearn to read from the chaos and to learn from the chaos and how much the chaos also can be a form of a state of repair. What I'm, I'm trying to do here is just to put in a very rough and monumental way the need for repair that the world we are living in today and also to, to reflect about destruction. What does it mean, destruction? I did this project three years ago. It's called Le Grand Miroir du Monde, the Great Mirror of the World. The world we are living in today, it is the result of an endless fragmentation. This fragmentation seems to be like increasing constantly. This installation of the mirrors is an act before a representation. I think the notion of acting is an emergency now. So maybe what I'm doing is wrong, but what I'm sure is that I'm trying to do something. 